welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting international craft beers with Dr. Dave. Woo, key word there, baby, international, because today we have one from Serbia, no doubt about it. This is the Yalen Lager. Now, all I know about this beer is it checks in at 4.6% alcohol by volume. Don't know anything else about it. Um, it is what it is, right? It's a lager and it's from uh, Serbia. No doubt about it. Uh, oh, I can tell you that it was brewed uh, last December 31st, 2021. Not to worry, though, because lagers and pilsners keep for a very long time. Let's go ahead and get our dollar here, our silver dollar, and we put it between the cap and our bottle opener. That way we're not going to dent the bottle cap because I definitely don't have one of these. Yalen. Yay. <laughs> All right, man. All right. So um, had a little bit of fizz there. I heard it. Let's see. I'm expecting a uh, Euro style lager with this beer. It's not going to be anything exceptional. It's going to be a decent lager and should produce quite a bit of carbonation because that's how Euro style lagers are. And it has produced a very beautiful, clear golden color with lively carbonation. It made about a one inch of foam there, bright white foam. Mm. Get a little bit of spiciness in there, a little bit of grassiness. Don't know what kind of hops in here, but hey, we're going to thank the brewers over there and uh, all the hard work they put into brewing this beer. Cheers to them and cheers to you too. That's a decent tasting beer. That's a decent tasting beer. And I wrote some things down here. Uh, this brewery has been going since 1756, so they should know what they're doing by now there in Serbia, right? No doubt about it. It's got some lively carbonation up there, I tell you. It's got some lively carbonation. Now, I did keep this in the refrigerator until this very moment in time because lagers and pilsners, I like to serve them on the cold side, whereas IPAs, stouts, porters... You want them to warm up a little bit. You want them to be about 20 to 25 minutes on the countertop, getting some warmth into them because you won't get all the all the natural flavors that the uh, brewers intended you to have if you drink those ice cold. But this one, ice cold. And I like that quite a bit. It's very smooth, easy drinking, has a crisp, clean finish on it. it. has a little bit of spiciness up front, but it doesn't really come through in the flavor. Yalen, no doubt about it. Uh, man, this is pretty good since 1756. And you'll notice on a lot of these beers, it says Pivo, P-I-V-O. That means beer. Bia, bira. Yeah, I would, uh, I would definitely buy this again. Now, <clears throat> this is sold single bottles, of course. It's not sold by any six-packs or anything like that. So that was uh, $3.16, I believe. Yeah, I peeled it off there. $3.16 is not bad for that beer. The main thing with international beers is wherever you purchase them at, make sure they're refrigerated. And when you bring them home, keep them in the refrigerator until you're ready to consume the beer. You can, in lieu of uh, putting it in the refrigerator, you can store it in a dark, cool, dry place. No doubt about that. If you have a cellar, that's the best place. Or a dark closet that you almost never open so the light doesn't get in there. But this is in a brown bottle, and it's it's uh, better than a green bottle or a clear bottle, that's for sure. But you still want to protect the contents inside because beer is a fragile food, and beer is a food. So, yeah, this is very good. Uh, I would describe this as a light-bodied beer with medium carbonation. 
it would go well with any type of food, but it's best for hot weather, man. Yeah. I'm not going to say this is a lawnmower beer. Certainly not, man. This has some good flavors and aromas to it. You should treasure it for what it is. All right, my friends. Hey, I got to run out of here because life is short, right? You got to be happy. And to that end, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers.